Alright guys, this is the Benelli Nova Tactical. I picked it up a couple of days ago. And uh, I was shooting it last night. I do have that on film. But uh, the pump action was hanging up. And, uh, you know, at first I thought, uh, you know, I was pushing around with it. Uh, I had to put the pump itself against my, my table, like right here, and hit the stock to unlock the pump. And uh, I didn't like that at all. I was shooting some of this uh, Super X Winchester game load, uh, low brass stuff. And uh, it hung up with that. So I got, uh, I got seven rounds in the magazine, another round in the chamber. We'll go give it a, a try. I'm not going to pussy around with the pump action. I'm going to you know, cycle it pretty good. Here we go. See if you can get me on camera here. Might need to adjust my camera a little bit to where you can see what's going actually going on. Yeah, all right. That's what I'm talking about right here. I just cycled it all the way to the rear. I'm trying to go all the way forward, and now it's hung up. Ugh. Ugh, shit. Dead man's fucking gun right here. Ugh, shit. Bullshit. I have to push that all the way into the chamber. The loading gate's all the way popped up. But I don't. Let me show you what I'm going to have to do to get this shit fixed. You see this post here? What I'm going to have to do. Alright, I got it fixed now. I think. You see that shit? You see that fucking shit? It's bullshit. Try that shit again. Here's the round of the shell. It's bullshit. That's completely unacceptable. Uh, I'm tired of buying fucking guns. This is like the third gun this year I've bought that's had issues. Last year was full of shit, buying guns and shit, full of shit. There we go, fucking again, what the fuck? Hung up again, the pump action is locked up. I can tell you this. If I was getting attacked by a, a polar bear, I'd be bad off. Y'all might as well say bye bye to me. No more videos for me. Alright. So, that didn't go over so well. We're going to try some different ammo here. Let's see what we got. Uh, we have some uh, Winchester Super X. This is a. Uh, High brass, two and three quarter inch, double lot buck. I'm gonna try some of this stuff here. All right, that's that Winchester Super X, two and three quarter inch, double lot buck. Uh, we got seven in there. All right. Go ahead and see what the hell's going on here. All right. All safe. All right. Here we go.
All right, that went over good. Didn't have a malfunction of any kind. Another thing that kind of concerns me, <coughs> excuse me, I went on the uh, the forums regarding Benelli, and uh, some of them, some guys are saying that this, when it's fully locked to the front, you pull it back a little bit, and that come that little gap right there is an eighth of an inch. Like when you pull the pump back, like like that. If you can see that. They said that causes light primer strikes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this back and shoot it. And if it shoots then I know it you know, it ain't doing a light primer strike, so I'm gonna do that a test. Now I do notice this. When you're holding back like when you pull the trigger and you're already putting rearward pressure on the uh, pump to cycle it, it's hung up. But once you release it, you got to push it forward, then rack it. Like you know, if you're, you're putting rear pressure on it after you pop your shot off, it's not going to come back. You have to push it forwards, then push it back. You'll give this another try. So far, I haven't had any problems with a two and three quarter inch high brass um, Winchester Super X buckshot double lock. Okay, I've been having issues with that low brass cheap stuff, which kind of bums me out because I, I do like to shoot some cheap stuff. All right, I'm gonna give this a try now. Again and see if we have a hang up with this ammo I don't know one two three four five six seven all right let's give it some tries here see what happens Surprised it didn't hang up that time. I wouldn't trust my life. So far right now, still iffy about this gun. I don't know if I trust my life to it or not because, you know, it didn't hang up with that. I'd have to shoot. I'd have to shoot like a thousand rounds through this gun with not one single hiccup with the pump locking up for me to be able to trust it. Alright, let's try some different ammo now. Alright, this here is two and three quarter inch Remington. Let's see. Three inch uh, tin pellet duh, triple lot buck right here. So it's three inch. Give that a try. I'm going to load five in there since that's uh, all I've got with me right now. All right, three inch, triple up buck. Here we go. See if we have any issues. Oh, yeah. I feel that in my arm, man. Ooh. I can, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle any more of those loads. God, that's kicking me a freaking round, son. I ain't even playing, that ain't no joke. Oh, shit. 
damn son. Look, I'm gonna fire it from from right here. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I ain't playing. That's freaking three inch. Kick you around like a daggum rag doll. Didn't have no issues out of uh, any of the high brass so far. I would shoot some three and a half inch triple lot buck, but my shoulder's killing me right now. I ain't gonna freaking lie. You know, y'all can say what the hell y'all want to. Freaking shoulders, freaking. That two and three quarter ain't bad. Freaking three inch magnum shit. Man, that's freaking. So, so far I haven't had any issue out of the high brass. Low brass shit. I don't know what, what's going on there. I did buy this gun brand new from a Benelli dealer. I already had the uh, magazine tube extension installed. The ghost uh, ring sights and all that good stuff. Originally I wanted the Supernova Tactical because on that model you can take off your stock or it comes with a pistol grip from Benelli, not a jerry-rigged aftermarket one. Uh, another feature about this gun that I probably will never use is this little button under here. You know, you're supposed to hit that button, rack around, it ejects one and it doesn't feed another one in there. Let you manually throw a slug or something in there. Those three inch magnums are serious. Anyways, that's the video there. Uh, I'll have some updates about this. I'm going to call Vanilli and ask him what, what's the deal about this. So That'll be it. See you later.